I have two loves, politics and dogs. Why do you have dog food in there? It was for looking for strays. I don't even know why I thought that would be a smart move because now I just have a box of dog food in my room. I've, I've since uh, decided to focus more on my gubernatorial campaign and less on uh, finding stray dogs. <laughs> I'm Ethan Sonneborn. I'm 13 years old. I like dogs, basketball, and fishing. I'm also running for governor of Vermont. <laughs> to everyone here today and all across our country, know this. We are America's future. I'm running on a platform of practical progressivism, ensuring that government takes care of the people that elect them. Economic growth. We'll, we're going to steer clear of economic growth for a while because Phil Scott's strong on the economy. Does anybody have other talking points to add? LGBT rights, immigrant rights, minimum wage, gender equality, universal health care, affordable secondary education, climate change slash green technology, youth and politics, opioid crisis, and Trump. Ooh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. I have my chief strategist, Cameron Sprigg. My communications director, Miles Burgess. My campaign manager, Riley Wells. And my chief of staff, Alex Yaggy. Guys, for fundraising and uh, the rest of it, we can bring my computer screen up onto the big screen in there. We talk some everyday daily operation stuff. So we have $446.13. Anybody know anybody looking to give $12 million to a 13-year-old running for office? No. <laughs> oh. And then we talk about some bigger picture stuff, like how we're going to message our vision. Uh, Alex. Where do you stand on the border wall? Absolutely opposed. America has always been the shining city on the hill. We need to welcome immigrants. Because no matter the color of your skin, you are an American. Miles. What is your plan to get youth more involved in to political activity? Um, what we really need to do is engage the next generation. We need to say that it's your future too, and you need to fight for it, right? Because this planet, it's having chemicals are being pumped into our air by six-year-old white men. What? <laughs> it sounds what? like I said six. I meant to say 60, but I realized that I... Six-year-old white men. What? Like, I'm like, one. 60! Well, I think what I worry about is different than what most 13-year-olds worry about. I worry about homework. I think a lot about how the uh, Red Sox are doing. But really what I'm worried about is the future of our country. Uh, I'm vetting congressional candidates who I think would be strong running for office. One and a quarter cup. Never really been engaged in that political process. It hasn't had a lot of interest for me. I've never voted, so. Looks less interest to me than I think it does to you. That maybe that's part of why I think he's interested because maybe he uh, thinks more should be done. It's probably right. <laughs> Ethan, is it? Is that true? Yes. Politics affects everybody. And that means, in theory, everybody should be engaged in politics. It is distressing that we have such dismal voter participation rates. And I'm deeply worried about young people not becoming involved in politics. There's this stigma that's been perpetuated that young means inexperienced and young means incompetent. There's this don't grow up too fast idea and it's not growing up too fast to say, I'm not an adult yet, but when I am, I'll be ready and I'll be informed and I'll be a smart voter.
In about September, uh, I applied for the Vermont Legislative Page Program. 38th graders are selected. So you come to Montpelier and you sit in on the chambers as they work to see what happens with them and how the legislative process works. It's been exciting most of the time. We spent a lot of the last five weeks talking about guns because, in fact, my first day was uh, February 14th, which was when the Parkland shooting was. So in this room right, in this room right at this corner, uh, they are debating a gun regulation bill. It's, uh, one second. I, yeah, I have to, one second. This woman here is a Republican state legislator, and I don't really want to criticize House Republicans while she's in the room. I think we need a signal. I, I, I'm gonna do like this. When a Republican walks in. Being an active part of government has been uh, informative and it's... Tensions are running high. Uh, there are a lot of Second Amendment advocates and gun regulation advocates uh, in the audience. All right, outside there's going to be the Montpelier March for Our Lives, a call for common sense gun regulations. I look forward to meeting some people who are like-minded. Absolutely. These kids are what my campaign is about. It's about making young people thoughtful, conscious, engaged citizens who see the problems in their communities and in their country and who take action on those issues. The campaign's been going well. We made some solid connections. We've raised some money. We've gone to events throughout the state. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. I am. Are you learning a lot? Uh -huh. You're the smartest one in the race. <laughs> there is a new candidate. Uh, Christine Hallquist, she, she is running against me in the primary. I think she has a real shot. But I think I have a real shot, and I think James Ellis has a real shot. Um, um, Ethan, why don't you turn around and wave? <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I listened to the debate. I loved everything you said. Thank you. Yeah, yes. I listened to the debate and uh -huh. very impressive. Thank you. I was thinking when I was your age, I could never uh -huh. answer questions that way yeah. on the spot. Yeah. You are the future we're counting on. Yeah, I mean, I try. Uh, now that you've done this, what would you change about the way people have to run for office in this country? I would try to make sure that there was some advocate for people who aren't lobbyists or campaign donors. So talk to me how you're feeling today. It's finally primary day. You know, I'm excited. It all comes down to this, and I think we've worked hard. I think we have a great chance. Yeah. Thanks for coming out and voting. Hi. Ethan Sonneborn, running for governor. Who? Ethan Sonneborn, running for governor. OK. What does he stand for? Ah, uh, it's me. And, oh, uh, yes, um, we call it practical progressivism and kitchen table issues, things like healthcare and the economy and education that real Vermonters think about every day. So you're a progressive? I am. Progressive is communism. Uh, I disagree. Well, America didn't become great by having progressive and by being socialist, communist, you name it. Hi, That's the second person who's called me a communist today. Yeah, good young man. Thank you. Don't be, uh, don't let bastards grind you down. I don't plan on it. Even if we don't win, if we get 5% of the vote, 
It'll show that people are ready for change and people are ready to allow young people to start taking the reins of our country. So I don't know my chances of winning. I'm offering the people of Vermont something new, and I don't know whether or not they'll accept it. Okay, so this is the bet for the percentage of votes I'm going to get. I have 6%, Miles has 19%, Alex has 11%, um, Sean has 20%, Jack has 22%, my dad has 2%, and uh, Alexia has 7%. The only reason I... My I mean, is low is because everyone else is low. The truth is, Ethan has changed the face of Vermont politics, and I, I mean, he wins whether he gets uh, a win percentage, and I've really been proud of watching Ethan run. I'm trending on Twitter. Here we go. Top news. Excellent. I am going to go mingle a little bit. Because these people are here. Yeah, these people are here for me. You want me to? Hi. What What are you thinking about for the future of your political career? You know, I want to stay involved. I want to make sure that we elect leaders who are working to uh, make life better for ordinary Vermonters and ordinary Americans. Well, I have a lot of plans about engaging the youth. Uh -huh. and, like, I really want to uh -huh. be a huge part of that yeah. with us. So, yeah. And just get them on the bench and get them involved. Right, get them used and, to and it. Get them used to yeah. campaigning and moving up the thing. People who vote early, keep yeah. voting. Exactly. Yeah. I voted for my own son. It was, uh, it was a little crazy for the first time to vote to be for my own son. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Because this is governor's race, and we're waiting for results. <laughs> um, election night results page. Who, uh, oh, hang on, we have oh. votes. Oh. I have 10 votes. Oh, 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 we have votes. Oh, yeah, you have 5.3% right now. Now we can shred the uh, concession speech. With uh, 11 votes in Pollitt. <laughs> Six votes in Wells. Wait, what do you have up there for me statewide? 7.9. We're climbing. Yeah. We're climbing. 7.8. If we hold this, it's a pretty strong showing. Yeah. People always ask me if it's been fun. And that's not the right word, because it is difficult and it's grueling and it's painful. But you get to hear people's voices. You get to hear their stories. You get to hear where they think Vermont should be headed. It was difficult, but like I said, worth it. Come on, Bristol. Check Bristol. Something Nothing in. Uh, Let's see, what else do we have? How's Addison going so far? Which means We're still good. third in Addison. They called the race for Christine Hulquist. They did? Yep. They called what? They called the race for Christine Hulquist. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the numbers might change, but she'll win. Okay. Um, let's wait for all of Addison County to come in, and then we'll concede. Can I just say something? I really think since you let people know that kids can get into politics and stuff, mm -hmm. and... I think that was still really important that mm -hmm. winning as well. Mm -hmm. like, I should hire Nora next time instead of Miles. We live in a time when it's so important to be involved and to be engaged. Are you going to run again? Uh, I don't know. Because I just kind of want to like join your next group. Yeah. Cool. Hey, when I run for president, you'll be my campaign manager. <laughs> You know, if I get one person, regardless of age, engaged in the process, then I think my campaign's been a success. We outperformed expectations tonight, and that is something we can all be proud of. Our campaign may not have won, but our message did. We have to understand you cannot give up on our process. You have to stay involved. Thank you. Uh, United States Senator from Vermont. What about the White House? I'm not committing to running for president yet. I've got time.